Hey everyone, what's up? We're back with some more Toxic Cup battles, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. See ya. Hey everyone, welcome back to a Toxic Cup video. So today we're going to be going through a heap of battles that we had. Um, so starting off here, so we get a really nice lead. We can switch into something that's super effective. Um, awesome. So you can see over here on the right of screen, we've got our Heracross up. So he's just there uh, for some people who are less used to seeing um, what moves and stuff Pokemon have. It's just going to be up there in the video. Each battle will have a different Pokemon. So Heracross primarily used as a counter user in this meta. Um, pretty much everyone I know is running Mega Horn and Close Combat. Some people are running Earthquake, um, each to your own. But yeah, I think Mega Horn and Close Combat is probably the way to go with him at the moment. Just be careful, uh, Close Combat uh, does have a debuff, so reduces your defense. Yeah. Anyway, jump straight back into these battles here. You can see, uh, obviously we had a quite a good matchup against um, that Steelix after we switched into Heracross. And then Wobbidam has the rest of the team covered. Obviously, Shadow Ball is going to do a fair bit of damage. Um, but that's pretty much all we have to worry about in this matchup now. So, we'll finish off with this Wormadam, take everything else down. And that's a wrap. So, moving on to the next battle against Fatmat28. 29, sorry. 29. Uh, we can see Toxicroak over there, another counter user. Uh, most people were running Sludge Bomb, Mud Bomb. Uh, Dynamic Crunch can be there to fool a few people. Uh, would do a heap of damage against any normal types, so keep that in mind. Um, so, I've seen a few Hunt Pheasants actually. It's quite interesting to see it pop up. Um, Sky Attack and Heat Wave? Overheat? Heat wave? I'm not sure. Anyway, back to the match. So, got two shields up for both of us. We've got a fair bit of energy on our goal bat here. Um, and it takes half, just over half of Brill himself. So obviously Brule is pretty squishy, we know that, but I was quite surprised how much damage it did. Um, so yeah, these Poison Fangs are just going to rip through his, the rest of his team. Um, and that'll be a wrap. So I hope everyone's enjoying it. I've just really enjoyed so far just the number of very Pokemon people are throwing out. Especially in these blind matches where you probably get away with uh, a little bit more in terms of random Pokemon than you will... Uh, when you're running lines of six, because they can see there, they're, they're going to know, well, not know, but have a pretty good idea what, what's kind of coming up here. Um, so yeah, obviously this is an ideal for us. We're going to have to land a heap of shadow balls, uh, otherwise we could be in a bit of trouble. Uh, so we'll let this crunch come through, and as you can see over here in the gold bat, we've got wing attack, uh, shadow ball, and poison fang. Um, I don't know too many people who are running much else. I don't think air cutter and ominous wind are getting a whole lot of traction. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we burnt the shield to keep uh, our switch advantage. So we're down a shield, but we're up switch advantage, and we just caught back up right there. So he, he blocked the poison fang, um, and you can just see how much those wing attacks were doing. So um, yeah, losing the shield advantage can be a bad thing, but you can make up for it, right? So if you've got loaded energy, you're probably going to make up. Um, so there's times when it works, right? And that, that's when it works for me. Except this is one of those spicy picks. A Razor Leaf Ludicolo just rips my Bibarul and Steelix apart. So uh, there's not too much we can do about that. Oh, Ludy. Little pineapple head. Saw a lot of them in South America, actually. That was that was pretty interesting. Cool. So we're moving on to our next matchup here. Um, let me just quickly check who these battles are against. I can't remember. Uh, obviously not ideal matches here, but that's okay. Uh, this isn't... Uh, oh my goodness. I'm uh, sorry, a lot of Glyscal on the right. So most people are running Wing Attack. There's some people who are still keen on Fury Cutter. Um, and a lot of people using Earthquake and Night Slash. Uh, don't go Sand Tomb. I had that for a little while before I teamed it away. Um, and you could go the Flying Move. It's kind of up to you. So you can see three confusions almost killed that Toxic Croak. It's just a beast. So this is Freeman, by the way, of battling against. Um, so we need this Hyper Fang to land, otherwise it's kind of a waste. So we switch out into our Steelix here. Now we know Shadow Balls are going to do a fair bit of damage, but Poison Fangs are going to be okay. Um, so we'll soak that first one. We'll throw some charge, soak some crunches. Second crunch will KO, he's got no shields left. 
Um, so we choose to play the safe option and it was another Shadow Ball. So that really would have done a fair bit of damage to us. So we got a couple of extra fast moves in there just to get a little bit of NRG. Uh, but Toxic Croak, right? He had no health, so that was a wrap. So next match against uh, Freeman, we get an awful lead. So awful lead. It's probably one of those those things you just, you just don't want to happen, right? So we sacrifice it. We offer it up to the sacrificial gods. And now we're in a Steelix Mirror. We're both locked into this. I really want to keep my uh, Moemadam available for hopefully something else that's going to take damage. Maybe it's Goldbat. Hopefully he's got a Goldbat in the back. Toxic Croak, obviously, it's dead in one more confusion. Uh, but we need to win this match. So we need to block an Earthquake and, or, and land an Earthquake. Um, so hopefully this crunch will get shielded and it doesn't. So we had to throw in the earthquake there, it was in kill range, and look what happens. We die. So that's uh that's that's how they go, I guess. Uh, it's hard to hard to really know when you got those uh, we got those moves coming in. So I miss a whole bunch of uh, bubbles there. That's cool. So we're hoping to try and fast move down here and save as much energy as possible. Uh, but even so, it's, it's, it, it, it's not going to happen now, right? So those dragon tails are just going to rip through us. And so GG, well done, Freeman. All right, and we'll move into our third opponent. Um, we've actually got a bunch of battles here against Apostle Creed. He threw out some really interesting spicy picks like that mass grain. Uh, and over on the right, you can see Sizzle there. So Sizzle, when the cup first came out, was ranked number one. Uh, I don't think it's even in the top ten now on PV Poke. Um, but yes, I haven't. I think we might come up against one or two Scissors against the Apostle Creed, or maybe against another battle I've played. But yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of Sizzle. It's, it's not up there a lot. So Masquerade has Bubble. I had no idea. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is one of those times, you know, those little spicy picks can really kind of, really help you out. So, we both switched at the same time, I'm um, not sure, but it ended up really working in my favour, because Dig is going to absolutely shred through uh, this Steelix. And with, it's a Thunderfang Steelix, so flying in ground type. Um, I actually think for some reason it actually comes out resisted. I'm not sure why when it's... You know, one and one, but whatever. Uh, so Masquerade comes out, we've got heaps of energy. These Night Slashes are going to finish it off, and we'll take the first battle against the Apostle Creed. So our next matchup here, we uh, have a Fortress against the Steelix, and our Fortress doesn't have Earthquake. So I haven't moved him at all, uh, never put an Earthquake on him. So <laughs> fortunately for us, he jumped on out of there, and we've got... Really, really a nice counter to his Bibberall in our Heracross. So over on the right here, you can see Wemmedam Trash. Uh, I only know one person who's running him as a Bug Buzz user, or Bug Bite, sorry, user, and that's PvP Steve. Um, I told him to put confusion on it. He wasn't super pleased with that, but I understand. You know, no dramas, dude. Still love you. Um, all right, and most people are running Bug Buzz and Iron Head. Not too many uh, side beams there. Um, yeah, I think Bug Buzz is the better, higher energy move to, to go away with. So, here we go. So we can see we need to land a dig here. And I wussed out and didn't throw the dig, which we got to. Um, and again, wussed out. Now, I wouldn't have got to it that time though, but should have thrown it the time before, definitely. Uh, so we come in and we throw our heavy slam, which he does shield. So and he does waste his energy. He could have farmed us down quite comfortably. So all in all, uh, great, but we lost. <laughs> so all right, cool. So we're coming to the next match here. Um, we don't get quite the team we wanted, but you know we're having fun. We're just playing around here. So but we do get this nice, obviously. It's nice here. So we're charging up to that. Try and get those two close combats to throw that on whatever else comes out. And uh, most people are uh, coming out with a you know, flyer next, right? Um, but here we go. Awesome. So we've got a dark poison type here in Skunk Tank. 
and we're going to throw off our second close combat. So he's got to shield both of these up. So now shields are back even, we've got the switch advantage. This is exactly what we want. Um, obviously a flamethrower would actually one shot Wormadam, so we can't, we cannot <laughs> let our Wormadam take a flamethrower from uh, this skunk tank. So we somehow either have to get rid of him first or have this guy use his energy. And there, so we got a CMP tie there, and it means he's going to waste his energy. So even though the infusion is not going to do a whole lot, it's going to do enough. So we've got an energy advantage here against his uh, Wormadam. Now I think Bug Buzz is the more energy efficient move, uh, but you've got to be, in terms of damage, you've got to make sure you actually get to that number of moves, right? So if you're only going to get two Bug Buzzes off, and but you're going to get all three Iron Heads, Iron Head's going to be the way to go. It's going to do more damage. Uh, overall, you know. So yeah, it comes out and we can, can just confusion it down. Cool. So, uh, this is our second last match against Apostle Creed. Now, I was not expecting to see um, the old Tentacruel. So, obviously being a Hydro Pump user, you've got to be very careful with that. You don't want to eat a Hydro Pump. But you also don't want to kind of get egg in your face and shield up a Acid Spray. Um, but, worse than that, is eating a Hydro Pump to the face. Um, so, over here on the right, I've got Fortress here. Um, we've got Bug Bite. You don't want to use Struggle Bug. And uh, he does have a quite a varied charge move pool, so again, be careful if you're going to use one uh, in terms of chewing through your TMs. So, fortunately, with Go Battle League, um, a lot of people are getting a few more charge TMs, the PvP people, but you've got to be careful. Um, okay, cool. So now we're into our Toxic Croak Mirror. We've got a heap of energy, and we had a quick look, and we've got Bibberall in the back, so we don't want to bring that in. So, we're going to keep our Toxic Croak in here and uh, throw these mud bombs to, to take his toxic Toxicroak down and then Pillar Swine's there, so just counted it down. Cool. Moving into our last match now. Oops, sorry, this is the second last match. Um, and something I was not expecting to see was a stout land and the dumbest thing I could do would be put in a ground and flying type against a Ice Fang user, so GG to me there. <laughs> I'm going to say this is late at night. Who knows? Probably wasn't. Probably just a dumb move. Um, so wild charge. Big damage move. Um, so we shield the first one and then... Don't shield the second one, but... Oh, of course. I'm ground. I don't have anything to fear. I'm not pure steel type. So I felt a bit stupid for wasting that first... Um, first shield on a wild charge, which would have done nothing. Now I'm happy to shield up here and then fire fang down this Heracross. And hopefully we can get to another body slam or maybe even a dig. So he popped out the stat lane hoping we'd have energy there and we had nothing. Right, we had nothing. So Five Fang just killed it. And we get a body slam here on this shift tree. Um, which does a nice amount of damage. Now obviously we really need to get to this heavy slam. Uh, we're, we're two leaf blades and we're dead, right? So we can eat one. And he must have been there. It's either a CMP tire or is one move off, so. Very close. Couldn't have just gone for um, Thunderfang down. So, again, just trialing out that Thunderfang Steelix. Not willing to commit to second moving it and getting the right move set just yet. Now, dumb switch in, right? But, what can you do? So, we're obviously going to be resisting these um, confusions, and we're only going to take neutral damage from these C bombs. But without Crunch, Heavy Slam's just a bit too expensive. Uh, but he didn't shield. If he had a shield, we were in trouble. So, really, really glad we got away with that one. Um, check out the crustle on the right. I don't like it that much. But I've lost I've lost matches to it. So, um, but again, blinds. So things will be a little bit different. So we're actually out energying this gold bat at the moment. We're faster. Well, we had more energy to start with, and so we're keeping that advantage. So. As long as we can land one of these avalanches, he's dead. Uh, fortunately, he can't switch out. This avalanche is going to take him out. So Bibberall comes in, so we switch straight into our Toxicroak, thinking, yeah, we got this. Eat a surf, and we're dead. And we're not going to get to this avalanche. Bibberall is going to take us out. So thanks for the battles, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one.